So for Advent this year, December of 2022, um, Advent and Vlogmas and this whole month of December leading up to Christmas, um, there are a few things that I'm working on. One of them is the Mystery Knit Along uh, by Imagined Landscapes, who is famous for her gnome patterns. Uh, so she does a Mystery Knit Along each Advent season. Um, this is my third year of participating. I think this is her 11th year of running such a knit along, which is amazing. Um, but, uh, so she's giving out a clue every other day, um, I think is the, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> what she projected in the, um, information for the knit along. So, uh, so every other day there's a knitting clue and the other day is she sharing stories and poems and recipes and uh, just kind of fun tidbits. Um, the, so I'm working on a mystery knit along to create a gnome. This year's pattern is called Gnome Made Gifts and the gnome's name is Nova. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm doing, uh, that's one of the things I'm doing. The other thing I'm doing is not Christmas or Advent related, um, but it's, uh, something I'm working on for my health and that is trying to walk at least 30 minutes every day. <laughs> um, so I've noticed that. I've become more sedentary and um, I get winded more easily. Um, my, my ligaments and tendons and all those things um, aren't as flexible as they used to be because I've been mostly in, you know, a sitting position or a standing position and I haven't really doing much. I haven't been doing much exercise at all. So in order to slowly regain that strength and flexibility as well as um, boost my mood and my energy level and all those good things. <laughs> um, I'm trying to walk at least 30 minutes every day. The other thing I'm working on is um, probably what you are working on as well and that's finishing up knitting um, gifts for Christmas. Um, this year they're all um, I'm not knitting as many gifts, partly because I've waited till the end of the year to start them. Uh, so I'm going to be purchasing a lot of gifts um, from from the store. But there are a few requests I've gotten and things that I wanted to do. Um, so I'm also finishing up some Christmas knitting. Uh, and so that's what you're going to be seeing here in Vlogmas are these things that I'm working on, as well as adventures we go on. Um, it's been snowing, <laughs> which is not typical where we live in the uh, greater Seattle region. Um, and just, you know, things we might be doing during winter break when we're off of school uh, and things like that. So I hope you enjoy uh, and stay tuned to see what we're up to. Good morning. It's December 1st of 2022. And I'm working from home today because we got enough snow to uh, close down campus. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm coming to you from uh, Renton, Washington, which is in the greater Seattle area in the Pacific, Pacific Northwest of Washington State in the United States. Um, this is a region that does not typically get snow, and so the cities are not really equipped with, you know, a, a, a fleet of snow plows and <laughs> all of that great stuff. So, and the area is very hilly depending on where people live. Um, it's not just flat roads to drive on, there are mountain passes nearby and things like that. Um, yeah. So, uh, here at the house we probably have, I don't, I don't know, maybe an inch of snow? Oh, it's so pretty! <laughs> um, 
these are my mums I'm keeping inside that I'm gonna plant next spring but um yeah it's snowy and bright and beautiful and so I'm working from home today campus is closed this morning because um, it was snowing kind of through the night into the morning looks like it has stopped now and the sun's out and it's beautiful um, but it's the week before final exams right now and so um, so I'm being available on Zoom from home for students to pop in and ask questions if they have them but um, yeah, I get to work from home today and it's the start of Vlogmas and I got my first clue today for the gnome advent knit along that Imagine Landscapes does every year. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take a look at clue one and hopefully knit it up today. We'll see. So it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I finished my work, yay! Um, short little Zoom meetings answering questions and then I had to write two exams for tomorrow. Yep. Uh, and this time I <laughs> quadruple checked the problems to make sure they didn't have any typos because that's annoying when that happens. Um, but yeah, I want to get started on the Imagine Landscapes mystery knit along for Advent season and I haven't even picked out my colors yet. So I need to reread for the fourth time the <laughs> pre-cal information about the colors because the designer usually gives some clues about this should be, you know, um, your pop color, or this should be the color of the beard, or um, it'd be good if the colors um, contrasted and didn't have any um, similar colors in them, kind of, kind of tips where she's not telling you what to do, but she's giving you hints so that, you know, the pattern clearly comes across. With, without us knowing what the end result looks like. So I'm going to figure out what colors I'm using so that I can get started. Left the couch. Right when I was getting set up, you left the couch to leave me to record without you. Why? Okay, I got my colors. They are not what I was thinking. I was thinking I was gonna go more of a green color because of the two gnomes I've already knit. So I did not go with a green color palette. So let me show you my gnomes that I've already knit in the past two years of Advent Mystery Knitting. <laughs> And then the colors I picked for this year. It is tough to find good lighting in the winter. <laughs> so this is the gnome I knit in 2020, which is the first time I knit a gnome ever. <laughs> um, and I went with red and orange. You can see there's just this ever so slight, if I can get it to focus, there we go. Um, the legs are striped. Now I picked two colors that were really close to each other, so um, when it's not good lighting, he just looks all red. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I love this gnome. He's definitely uh, my favorite because he was my first. <laughs> and then last year for 2021, um, 
I mean, this gnome is massive. <laughs> Uh, and comes with a backpack and a friend, which is just, like, so much. Um, and I had a lot of fun knitting this one. But I went with um, teal and this really bright green. And these are two yarns that I dyed, which is fun. Um, I paired it with a brown instead of a black. So we've got these two. And I was thinking, well, I can make one that's more green. Because this one's really a lot of teal. In fact, my fingernails are teal and they match. <laughs> um, but when I was looking through my scraps, because honestly, y'all, I have not done as much knitting this year as I thought I would have. And the knitting that I'm doing doesn't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of leftovers and scraps. And leftovers and scraps are perfect for these projects because they don't require that much yarn, but but you need multiple colors. So for this year, she's saying we need five colors. So um, she gave a hint about which one would be the beard. So I'm going with this um, dog hair. Uh, it's Knit Picks, and I can't remember the colorway name. But as you can see, it's this ever so slightly variegated, like white, cream, gray. Um, I used it for this gnome's beard um, as well. And you can see some of that variation in here. Um, I also used it in my so faded sweater. <laughs> so this is still left over. Um, so I'm going to use this for the beard again. And then she gave a hint about... Um, there should be like two dark colors, but they shouldn't have any colors in common. So I went with these two. So we've got black, which is what I used, um, for, I can't remember these gnomes names, <laughs> uh, but for the shoes over here. So I'm going with black. And then this is a BFL... Um, sock yarn from Leading Men Fiber Arts. So it's like blues and purples. I knit Michael some socks out of this and this is what's left over. So once I set up those, I was like, okay, I'm not going green. <laughs> I'm gonna go blue. And I spotted this leftover, which is not the cleanest ball of yarn, but it's this, um, it's more purple than it's showing up on my camera um but it's a nice like lilac color and i was thinking oh wow that looks really good so i was thinking about a pop color like pink or orange but it just mm, what i have just didn't really call to me so i thought all right i'll just stick with purple and so here is, um, obviously not leftovers, this is a full skein I haven't even used yet. So Premier Serenity Sock Yarn, the colorway is, yes I bought it on clearance, purple. Perfect. <laughs> um, and so that's going to go really well in there. <laughs> So there are my five colors. I am going to make a bluish purple gnome who's obviously very cold. <laughs>
So it's 5.30 in the evening, which means it's pitch black outside. <laughs> and I finished knitting clue one of the mystery gnome knit along. Uh, so I am going to show you the result of knitting clue one. And if you... Okay, so here it is. Clue number one. Yep. And she even told us it's a scarf for the gnome. Wow, I think it looks so cool. So on one side there's purple and on the other side is that blue color. And with the light color in the middle, oh, it just looks really neat. So she had us fray the ends of the yarn too. So what I'm gonna do is, um, use a little bit of water to block, kind of block this out so the fringe is a little more under control. So I just have a little towel here to protect the, the table. Um, and I don't even need the whole thing to lay flat because it's fine. There we go. So I'm just gonna spritz this. I've got a little spray bottle. Um, And then just try to get it to, you know, be a little more straight. I don't mind the curly, um, you know, separating the, pry the plies and then being a bit curly. I think that looks neat. Um, what I don't want are these shooting every which direction, so. And some of these plies, when I was separating them, you can see they're not really even on the end anymore, so. I will come back and trim those after this dries. Yeah, I'm just using my fingertip and just rubbing it over the yarn. on the end just want to poof outward. Okay, stay there. All right. Let's see what this looks like after it dries. So basically tomorrow. I'll just let it sit here all night. Happy Friday, December 2nd, 2022. <laughs> it's about six o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm getting ready for work, so I had breakfast, I showered, my hair's wet, I need to run it, the blow dryer through it. It's cold this morning, very cold. Um, so, you know how I spent all that time yesterday writing two exams for today? Well, um, yeah, school is delayed until 11.30 this morning, and today's the last day of classes. Next week is final exams, so one of those two exams is canceled today <sighs> because I have no days left to make it up before the final, so, oh well. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the, uh, the snow when it was falling yesterday was melting on the roads. So the, the pavement or asphalt or whatever, um, holds heat. And so when the snow hits it, it melts immediately. And so, um, 
all the roads were wet and it dipped into the 20s last night which is below freezing so as I imagine the roads are very icy this morning so that's why they delayed the start of school so it usually takes me about 35 minutes to get to work we'll see how long it takes today but I'm all I need to do is go in for one hour to give one of those two exams so <laughs> we'll see I'm just gonna smile and laugh because honestly this is this is pretty stressful for the students and the faculty and the staff and everyone to be dealing with this right at the end of the term but the weather is the weather so we gotta play nice. Marjorie say hello to your fans. Marjorie's a little grumpy this morning. Yes. Our schedules are being different because of these snow closures and late starts. And Marjorie is very much a creature of habit. So anytime there's an interruption in our routine, she gets a little cranky. Yeah. Look at this. People made snowmen on campus. We're getting in our steps in the mall, trying to find a store. Yep. 